the most popular articles about quantum gravity, they first say, oh, we all know that quantum theory is not really, you know, doesn't go well together with general relativity. Uh, and then they say, well, here are the two main contenders. It's string theory and it's new quantum gravity. <laughs> These were not so simple theories. But in reality, I mean, research has really moved away from these. There are other ways to look at the world that are maybe more fruitful and therefore, you know, maybe more correct. And now we are going back to, you know, good old quantum field theory. Go back to kind of minimal ingredients. Is there anything new? Well, the answer is there is not only you know, extremely rich dynamics and totally unexpected things that happen, uh, but there is also kind of, you can, you know, visible the mathematics that belongs with that. My name is Renata Loll. I am a professor for theoretical physics at Radboud University in the Netherlands. And my main interest is to try and understand what quantum gravity is. Quantum gravity is really the fundamental theory, quantum theory underlying classical general relativity. General relativity has given us right, black holes, a dynamical universe with a big bang, gravitational waves, amazingly successful. Now, what I would say, we have to go one step further. So the crucial thing that you want to have from the theory of quantum gravity is, it must be the case that you recover you know, some of the properties of the classical theory. Do you then see any evidence that interactions happen over long distances? When you zoom out, you should get out something that's four-dimensional, three space plus one time. The idea is really uh, to understand quantum gravity from very elementary principles that we all know. The idea has a name, it's called causal dynamical triangulations which just describes basically the ingredients we, we are using. Causal refers to the fact that we put by hand a causal structure into it, a, a, a time flow. Causal structure is present at the most microscopic level of stuff I'm just putting in. Dynamical means I'm paying attention to the dynamical character of geometry when I write down and solve the path integral. Because the path integral is a way, you know, to take a quantum superposition of curved spacetimes, and you need a handle on how do I describe these spacetimes. And the triangulations just tell you, you know, what I've done to make these spaces or spacetimes amenable to computation. You know, I, I, I put a triangular mesh on them. Triangles have a, just, uh, they explore curved spaces in a quite effective way. If you take kind of these basic ingredients and, you know, tell your computer what to do, ask the right questions, we so far are getting very interesting results out. The, the real breakthrough was there is a universe that comes out. It seems to have a, sh a non-trivial shape. That was something that one could relatively easily understand, the overall shape of the universe we saw, and it had a kind of blob shape. So when we looked at it, you know, in time, so we could monitor things in time. You could see it, it wanted to start kind of in a point, and then the spatial universe kind of grew, and then after, at later times, it col collapsed back to a point. So we were able to show that indeed, uh, the behavior, you know, of this quantum space that was sitting in our computer, generated according to the rules of, you know, C, what we now call CDT, on sufficiently large scales, became a, looked like a four-dimensional object that had never happened before. This is a priori in these models, is absolutely, it's not a given at all. So the question is, if you have a true quantum theory of gravity, can we go one step further? That's where my research is now going, to understand can we possibly, you know, predict what the very early universe should have looked like? 
It's very interesting work. It's like the work of an experimentalist almost, you know, to, to, to tease out these properties. It's just so rich and so many things can happen and we've just scratched the surface of all the things that can happen. So it's a, this is the beginning of, an, I would say, probably a, a very interesting and non-trivial story of, you know, where quantum gravity maybe is going.